Hello friends. So today we are back with another topic and today's topic is very important sleep. And we all love sleeping and sleeping is something which needs to be done on daily basis and throughout the life. But you'll be surprised to note that almost 60% people in the world today they don't get adequate sleep. So today we'll discuss what are the normal things about sleep and you know any problems that people can face. So first to start off with what is the normal sleep duration? So normal sleep duration is anything which is between 7 to 8 hours at night. So I'm talking about mostly adults who are say aged uh, up to 60 and even child above 5 years of age. So children below 5 and adults above 60 they can have what is called as biphasic sleep means they can have a good amount of sleep in the afternoon also but most of us require need to sleep only once and that is at nights and 7 to 8 hours. So what is you know sleep deprivation? So anyone who sleeps less than 6 hours is typically considered to be sleeping less than ideal, less than normal and there is something called as oversleeping also. So nobody should sleep more than 9 hours. So below 6 hours and above 9 hours of sleep they are abnormal. 7 to 8 hours is the usual normal sleep taken once at nights which also means that there are a lot of people who work at night shifts or they have shift duties so that sleep cannot be you know considered normal so they are forced to sleep in the daytime but as per the normal circadian rhythm the correct time to sleep is at nights only so if somebody you know keeps on doing it on a long term basis uh, there are a lot of health hazards of night shift duties so as a result sleeping in daytime or those who have shift duties so and then the next we talk about uh, something called as napping so many cultures have napping as a routine habit so napping has many benefits and there have been a lot of studies done on that so there are benefits like it can energize a person make them alert and active after the nap so that's why many people also call it call it power nap but for the nap to be effective and safe it should be short and typically in the research studies anything up to 30 minutes has been found to be beneficial for people uh, to improve the cognition and energy levels and also they have shown good effects on the heart but if the afternoon nap gets prolonged say more than 30 minutes or more than 60 minutes it can also have harmful effects on the health so those who work long hours say till late evenings or nights they could benefit from short up to 20 or 30 minutes of nap in the afternoon and then uh, so what are the problems one can face if uh, say they are not able to get adequate sleep so there are hundreds of research papers done and uh, looking at people who have slept who routinely sleep less than six hours at nights that is called a sleep deprivation so there are effects like you know they are more prone to get diabetes high blood pressure higher risk of heart attacks strokes cancers and even the longevity so they their lifespan also becomes less so there are multiple ill effects on the uh, health and also short term uh, side effects also can happen because when they sleep less the next day they feel t fatigued and tired they may have more headaches and migraines they cannot focus in the work if they are driving then they may not be able to drive properly irritability higher risk of anxiety stress and uh, other psychiatric conditions so there are multiple problems of uh, sleeping less how about oversleeping you know if if sleep has so many benefits then why not sleep more so unfortunately sleeping more than 9 hours it also can have adverse effects on the health and all the things that are listed so they also have a higher risk of heart attack and strokes and longevity is less it is not as bad as sleeping less but definitely it is worse than sleeping adequately which is 7 to 8 hours so one shouldn't uh, oversleep also so that is uh, the about the normal sleep and the ill effects of uh, sleeping less or more on the health and then if you look at say you know if people have insomnia what is insomnia means someone who doesn't get adequate amount of sleep or they sleep but they keep on waking up several times at nights as a result they don't have refreshing sleep so is that normal definitely it is not normal and uh, that can also have problems so that brings us to the topic of uh, sleeping pills now sleeping pills generally if somebody takes for short time under medical supervision it can be definitely safe but few studies are there which look at long term effects of sleeping pills long term means those who take routinely for years together so that is also not safe and they say that those who take long term sleeping pills can have shorter lifespan 
as compared to those who don't take sleeping pills and also there are people suppose you know there are two options one is people taking sleeping pills and sleeping for seven to eight hours other group people sleep less but they don't take sleeping pills so what was interestingly found is that those who take sleeping pills and even though they have normal sleep duration the risk of uh, heart attacks and strokes and you know the shorter lifespan is more likely in that group compared to the group who slept less but did not take sleeping pills so the long term sleeping pills should be avoided and uh, and definitely one should not abuse or overuse on its on his or her own under a psychiatrist or any medical you know doctor's prescription it can be definitely used because you know each person is different and the doctor is the best judge to decide what is best for you and uh, then looking at the one more thing is the sleep hygiene so uh, that is the time of uh, starting sleep and then finishing sleep so it is not enough that we get 7 to 8 hours but it is also important to start the sleep almost at the same time which means suppose somebody sleeps from 10 pm to 5 am that is, that is 7 hours so then routinely he has to sleep at the same time and get up at the same time with a difference of about 30 minutes the reason is that you know one day somebody sleeps at 10 to 5 and then the next day 2 to 9 so 2 am to 9 am also gives 7 hours at the third day he may sleep at 12 midnight to 7 am but once we keep changing the sleep onset time and the waking up time then the circadian rhythm gets affected and that also has ill effects so if in studies what has been found is that if the sleep onset time varies more than 30 minutes every day of the week then uh, they have again a higher risk of heart attacks and strokes so and greater the differences so if somebody has let's say 30 to 60 minutes variation so he has lesser, lesser risk than somebody who varies more than 90 minutes so ideal is the sleep onset should be within 30 minutes so if somebody has chosen 10 pm so from 9 30 to 10 30 pm is fine or somebody has chosen 11 pm then between 10 30 pm to 11 30 pm is fine to start the sleep so one is to get adequate amount of sleep second is to maintain the sleep hygiene and the routine and the regularity so starting time of sleep and finishing should be at the same time so that's another thing to look at and then i think we have covered most of the things just few things to note snoring is one common uh, you know problem during sleep where people snore so snoring it could mean that the person has obstructive sleep apnea there are good sleep studies which can be done and diagnosed and then there are many treatments which can be advised also so sleep apnea increases the risk of again multiple problems like diabetes high blood pressure strokes and heart attacks so it should be identified recognized and properly treated and uh, then some people also can get what is called as restless leg syndrome because of which they have pain in the legs and they keep on moving the legs and they don't get adequate sleep again that can be easily treated by the doctors so if you have any such symptoms uh, consult a doctor another disorder that is commonly seen is uh, periodic uh, limb movements so they just keep thrashing the legs but uh, you know they may not have pain again that's a rem sleep disorder and can be easily treated so uh, today that's what i had to say about sleep it is important and then always try to get natural uh, sleep without sleeping pills but sleeping pills if required should be taken under medical supervision so if you like this video please like and uh, share it also post your comments or queries and subscribe to my channel to watch more informative videos in the future thank you